flow or whatever it is, it's time. We're going. And if you people want to demo, come with me, you come with me. If you don't, stay over there, you are. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Can we just go back? Yeah. From her whisper. When I found out that there was actually a, a play of the grapes in that, that was an immediate decision. And I just thought that, you know, we're living in a farming, farming community. We've got um, Salinas is where Steinbeck lived, is what, 150 miles or so south of here. Plus the fact that we have the, sim the problems that existed then, the over-farming, creation of dust bowls, migrant workers, uh, People having their houses foreclosed on, um, not being able to afford to pay the rent anymore, is exactly what's happening today. It ain't got nothing. Coming a long time now. No work, no crops. What are we going to do then? How um, at first, the uh, relationship between us and the director, Miles, wasn't that great because he just knew us and he was just trying to figure out ways of how to work with each actor through his or her own uh, weaknesses. But as going on, I felt that the relationship between us, the ensemble, the leads, and uh, Miles was like really, really growing. And now we have like a, like a much stronger relationship where we feel that we can like trust each other. So typically we have rehearsals 6 to 10 every day of the week, Mondays through Fridays, and then Saturdays we have rehearsal in the morning until about 3 o'clock. And then during the rehearsal we'll have a little bit of warm up with Lisa, who's the assistant director, and then we'll usually start running the scenes. Uh, working with the kids is great. They're very professional, especially for their age. They're very quiet, take direction well. I've had productions where I've worked with kids before, they're running around screaming all the time, wrangling cats. This is not one of those cases. It's very nice. We have a big truck that we have on stage that have to move it on and off stage, and when you have an extra 13 people sitting on the truck, it weighs somewhere close to two tons. The excitement level for the cast, I mean, I hope they're excited. They seem excited. The show's really powerful. It can have moments that really make your heart sink a little bit. And I think that if we get where we're planning on going by the time the show starts, it, it could be something really deep to walk out of. Everybody who, who wants to understand anything about American history, and certainly in America in the 1930s and the Depression, has got to come and see the play, because it tells a really powerful story about man, the indomitable spirit of man uh, overcoming all obst obstacles, and also the generosity of the American spirit as well. Right? It's, it's a very powerful piece.